did not expect uh, to be in this position today. I was, of course, hoping that this may happen, uh, but uh, I always had a vision uh, of this type. However, I wanted to, to first acquire the, the know-how. Our timing was was perfectly right when we started in 94, 93, 94, founding the company here in 96, um, and now expanding into the industrial side. But uh, I don't think uh, we have been speeding it up, but we were keeping up a pace which, which I think is correct. Um, and, and uh, is okay to, is sustainable. Uh, with Fleury et Bosch, the aim is to be able to produce in a, in a more industrial way. Um, and we, we're looking at uh, 25 to 30,000 um, mechanical calibers, uh, probably two or three different basic types. Uh, within the next uh, three to four years. So that would be our annual production, altogether 25 to 30,000. Chopin Manufacture will continue to <coughs> concentrate on uh, more elaborate, smaller series uh, movements and everything complicated, uh, you know, such as tourbillons and uh, and also in terms of finish, we will continue to have hand finish here and uh, industrial machine finish uh, at uh, Florier Bosch. The main purpose is to, to offer our clients uh, an adequate uh, in-house movement for other Chopin products outside the LUC collection, um, in particular for some of the uh, classic racing uh, watches and Millimilia, some of the Millimilia watches and, and so on. And that's really the main purpose of this development. We want to offer for certain Chopin products and a rather large part uh, a very good uh, in-house movement. Also because the credibility of the brand will increase and also because uh, our customers are looking for that particular uh, combination. Uh, more and more uh, knowledge knowledgeable customers, watch uh, aficionados, uh, you know, are looking into what's actually ticking inside their watch. And they don't want, uh, if they buy a Chopin, they want a Chopin engine. <laughs>